everybody, thank you for tuning into Mom's Indoor Garden. So I thought I would give you a quick update on what's been going on in my garden. So if you look here, I have some um, cabbage growing. I made some coleslaw the other day and always take the base, cut the top off, use the top, and then try and regrow the base. As you can see, I have red cabbage and green cabbage and they grow really well a second time around. So don't forget to do that. Same thing with celery. So I have a celery stalk here and that needs to be replanted. So all those will be planted today. I also have some uh, broccoli growing. I like to grow broccoli six at a time in a bigger tub. It's just easier for me to maneuver and put a light on six plants at once and these tubs are plenty big enough for that. If I come over here, my peppers have been growing crazy good this year. So I'm super happy about that. As you can see, I have plenty of little peppers growing. So I have some flowers happening here. Don't forget when you have flowers show up to shake the pepper plant, just give it a really good shake or put a fan on and that will help pollinate the flowers. They are self pollinating to an extent, but they do better when you shake them. So I have just a lot of. Okay, so moving past the peppers, I have summer squash here. My summer squash plant looks a little uh, weak, a little weird to me. It's not as full and as vibrant as I would like. So if anybody has any suggestions or comments um, about that, please let me know. Um, I would love to get some advice to make this a little bit healthier looking. But regardless of that, it does have a lot of flowers on it. So in the next week or so, I should start seeing some flowers open and we could do some pollinating on that. But in general, I think the plant looks a little bit weak. Um, I have a cucumber plant I started there. Here's six more broccoli plants. These were about a week ahead of the other ones I showed you. Um, and I do like a lot of broccoli going at the same time because I tend to eat a lot of it. And then here we have another summer squash plant. This one looks a little bit stronger. Again, it has a lot of flowers growing on it, so we'll see what happens. Um, but in general, I think they look not the best. Here's my drawer of spinach that I planted about a week or 10 days or so ago. It's coming along. Um, again, I prefer having a fan on that, but I haven't had a chance to put a fan on. My puppy dog sits here and breathes on it, so I guess that's fan enough. Um, but I do have some, a whole uh, tray of spinach going there. I have some beans here. We used to call them string beans as a kid, but I know they are not string beans, green beans. Um, growing here under the light, I like this. I can lower the shelf and raise the lights as the beans grow, and then it'll be a nice kind of vine wall going on here. But I have three plants there, which should be plenty for me for now. I have more starting in seeds. Okay, so lastly, um, over in my kitchen, I actually have some tomatoes growing. Um, didn't think they were doing super well in the window, so I actually just put a light on them today. But you can see that they're doing okay. They're not that old, so I'm not expecting miracles yet, but I have some basil there and a few tomato plants. And I am gonna let my tomato plants actually grow up into the ceiling and I have these like rafters that my goal is to have them grow up, vine up to that. So hopefully that works out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment um, and thanks for tuning in. See you next time.